everybody and welcome back to another edition of my guru room show and for the guru room show today we got a very amazing guest and she's an actress and her name is vanessa Pra prasad if i said your name wrong i apologize i will have you say it when you come on I am Rocco Cross. I am the host at Stutters. I am the host of the Guru Room. And we're going to be talking to Vanessa soon. We're, she, we're going to be talking about a TV series that I love called Skull Spirits. And she was on, on, on the series. And as always, welcome to my nightmare. So stay tuned for the interview. It's going to be a fun one. Okay. Um... Welcome to Gru, and thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. No, it's wonderful. I'm happy that I can talk about it and just chat, period. <laughs> Def <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> I, I, I could tell this is going to be like a really fun time because even, I think so. even before I start re re recording, we were laughing and joking. So so I could tell this this, this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah, this will be awesome. Easy peasy. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> An easy interview after your work day. So <laughs> right, right. Yes. Yes. This is this is this is the best having a stressful day of work and coming home and laughing. <laughs> good, good. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to ask you is you a typical question, like um what what drew you to want to act? Like what when did your passion start? Yeah. So, I mean, it's so funny because for the longest time, like over a decade easily, um, I was dancing. So that was kind of my main thing when I was growing up. Okay. So I was dancing competitively and stuff. And I always loved acting and performing. And of course, like I did it in school, you know, um, my social group was kind of in that squad as well. Um, but as time kind of went on, I started to sort of realize that it was more the performing aspect mm -hmm. of dance that I think I was really, really passionate about. Um, and then, yeah. And then it's just kind of gone from there. Like all through high school, I kind of focused like 50, 50 on dance and acting. And then as time went on, it was more that the, the acting stuff was kind of what, what took over and made me the happiest. And oh. I've always been a huge movie person and stuff too. So it was, it came easy as a as a passion anyway <laughs> there you go okay <laughs> easy transition oh uh oh timeline so yeah <laughs> <laughs> and what was like the first role you ever had first role including in school yeah sure okay <laughs> I <laughs> I played the Christmas mouse. I was in grade one and it was in the, a production of the Christmas mouse. Okay. So, so big, big thanks at that. <laughs> that, that, that definitely. That's, you, you know, every time around holidays, you can always perform your Christmas mouse thing, you know? <laughs> we have, we have it on like VHS somewhere, but I have to like give it to, somebody to convert i'm a little afraid to do that but <laughs> but i think i should <laughs> just do diligence <laughs> right exactly <laughs> say i want this on disc because this is my first role <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> fingers crossed that people will actually right. want to watch it going forward we'll see about that but <laughs> i'm sad though i've i've watched I've watched a couple of those, you know, I think like the actor Timothy Chalamet, like he probably hates yeah. that. I saw like one video of him like rapping the super big. I saw that too. <laughs> yes. Yes. He, he, he was good though. Like, like he was good. really good. In it. He's, he's so sweet and cute. And like, yeah. So let's hope that Christmas mouse is received. Soon. Yes. And, and, and you never know the Christmas mouse could sing with Tim, timothy with and he'll do the rap and you'll do the mouse singing yeah absolutely <laughs> or already establishing my career <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> perfect perfect <laughs> but yeah that's basically long story short that is how that happened that was yeah that was point a to point b where we are now that's kind of how it went okay so, yeah. 
there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, um, I see like one one of your first things too. Like how how was it like to be on a great set like Charm? Oh, and, it was it was really great. Um, and you know, this 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 was the newer Charm, right? Like the yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it. Um, so I don't. Uh, do I look that old? <laughs> God, I hope not. God. No, you know. I, no offense. No ageism. Obviously. Yeah, that that's right. The old the old charm ended in what? Like, yeah. like, like 2001, exactly. So I, I, uh, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. Okay. At that time, but um, yeah. So for Charmed, it was really. It was a really great experience for me because it was my very first thing. It was my oh. very first experience on on set. Besides, oh, wow. you know, like I did commercial work and stuff, and that was a freaking blast. Um, but Charmed was my very first little line, um, and it was it was wonderful because, you know, when you're new, and and to be honest with you, even now I feel the same way. You just have that giddiness that you know. Yes, yeah. so I'm like I'm on set and. I'm doing something that I've always wanted to do. And yeah, it's very, um, it's very celebratory. I, I don't think that, I hope that that doesn't ever go away because right. it makes, it makes the day-to-day -day work amazing. It doesn't, oh, doesn't yeah. feel like work that way. Right. Like yeah, I, I, I always hope it stays that way. So yeah, that was my first little taste of it. And it was amazing. Uh -huh. It was, it was fun. It was a good little show and yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, now, it was did you did you get to play a witch? No, I didn't. And you know what's so funny is that I <laughs> my role was literally just because I do love British accents. <laughs> okay, so it's like a everybody that like that was Vanessa's first line on a show was just saying I love your accent ah. I worked at a grocery store and they had to pop in um, and uh yeah and that was my that was my one line oh wait the, your screen froze I went method with it I do British okay you can fix yeah you're kind of flipping in and out so yeah yeah Hold okay on. you're good now yes okay good yeah yeah ish. yeah like it, it, it like froze okay. for like a second <laughs> oh god well let me know if it does it again and we can try and figure it out again i apologize it's this a... house is the first truly it, it's a cursed service home i don't know what to do about it so <laughs> oh well just yeah, so you 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 do live in the charmed house then <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. i don't so yeah so i'll just fingers crossed it all it all still continues to work out <laughs> Yeah, oh, it, it, it's still see. going like in and out again. Yeah. Okay. One second. I'm actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move to another. <laughs> I know this least professional interview whatsoever. It's all good. <laughs> You're kind of clearer actually now. How do you feel? It better. It sounds. Yeah. It does. It does look better. Okay. Amazing. Well, then I'm just going to hold it then. Is this okay? Does this work it's for you? Or are you going to get like car sick, it's basically? No, no, it's good. I, it's all good. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Good, good. <laughs> so yeah, so that was, that was charmed basically. And it was, and it was great. And yeah, it was my, it was my first experience with it. And it was awesome. It was a nice. great show. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I I mean I'm such a huge fan of Charm. Like I I did watch the newer the newer Charm, and I liked yeah. it. But like my my favorite is actually like the old the old school Charm with like gotcha. with Shannon Shannon Doherty and yeah, Alyssa exactly. Milano and Holly Marie yeah. Combs and yeah. I know I love all of the witchy shows and like spiritual stuff. I'm I'm yes, so into definitely. it. And, and that's why, like, you know, and I know we're skipping ahead a little bit, probably, but that's why when I did read the script for 
for school spirits i was mm-hmm. i was pretty excited about it it was genuinely very fun for me to read the scripts even in the process of auditioning for it okay. because i i really did enjoy reading it <laughs> and, and that's always i mean yeah that's that's really a great thing to have with a project so so yeah yeah definitely so like speaking of school spirits and Allie, how did you wind up getting the role of Kristen on the show so it's really funny because I mean obviously whenever you get a role for anything I a huge portion of that is probably luck obviously um <laughs> just call it like it is um but no I mean it was it was an interesting process because I had actually first auditioned for the role of Rhonda, who's played by Sarah. Mm-hmm. And so I had first auditioned for that role. And then when um, Kirsten came around, it was just, yeah, it, it was, it, I don't want to say it was an easy audition because that sounds <laughs> awful, but it, it was easy in the sense that I just had, was able to have so much fun with it. And I got to like dance a little bit, which was a comfort zone for me, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, and it's so great because, you know, when you step on set for the first day, especially at the beginning of a project, you yeah. see who was cast as each character. And it was perfect. Like, obviously, Sarah's Rhonda. Like, it worked perfectly. And so it all just kind of, like, falls into place. So it was a process. Um, but overall, it was just a mix of, you know, fun auditioning and the writers and directors and showrunners and casting directors and everything taking a chance on me. God bless. Um, and yeah, so that's that's how. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you mentioned you did dance, and and of course your your character does a chair chair yes. chair lead leading. So yeah. did you have to train for cheerleading, or did you already know how to to do that from doing dance? So yeah, it was just it was. Um, comfort level um was there because of dance um so it was and that was such a blessing for me because this this was my first time being um a recurring ever yeah right so stepping on set I mean you you get super nervous or at least I do I can't I guess I can't speak on everybody else but I get incredibly (laughs) nervous and uh so with my very very first day on the production um it was dance rehearsals for, for the beginning cheer in that first episode. And so that was so, um, I'm so grateful for that. It was such a relief because it was a comfort zone thing. And so we had, um, very few rehearsals, honestly. And then, you know, yeah. And so I'm quite impressed with us, honestly, (laughs) gotten it together and done it, but yeah, it was a blast. So we did have rehearsals for it. Um, that wasn't the only cheer we did too. Like we had all of the, um, later, um, football game, like homecoming game stuff. And, and so it it was cool. We all got to like get together on a day that we weren't necessarily working and, um, and yeah, uh, learning the dance and stuff. It was so much fun. (laughs) Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know on, on the show, cause I watched the show and I loved it. School spirits. Good. Like, it was so good. Oh, and awesome. I know you're actually one of the humans and not the ghosts, but like, if, what would, what would you do if you were a spirit trapped in a school? <laughs> I mean, first of all, if I was trapped in a school and I was a spirit, oh my God, that would suck. <laughs> but if like, certainly it would, um, God, what would I do? Oh, see, I didn't really have any particular vendettas against any teachers, but if I did, if I did, um, I could get up to no good for sure. And that's, cool. I'm think, yeah, I'm thinking of my personal high school and I, I had a wonderful group of people that I was in school with, but like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Something probably to, so, or you know what? this is such a noble answer and everybody's gonna hate it but you you know when you like see some kids like bullying another kid yes mm, yes lock her to the face oh my god yes definitely that i would do the same thing 100 percent. like that that is what i would do absolutely what i would do 
So definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if I was a school spirit, I would definitely be going after the bullies. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that that would probably be the most satisfying. Um, but yeah. <laughs> 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 let's let's just hope it never gets to that to that level God, fingers crossed fingers crossed school spirits is the closest i want to get yeah, closest. <laughs> <laughs> and um on on the show your 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 character Kristen, she follows claire around a lot she's part of this little yeah. group so how how was it like sharing scenes with the person that played her rain rain rainbow yeah oh my god she's so great she's super funny um easy to get along to uh, along with and talk to um it was actually really great because the girls who played the cheerleaders Mm -hmm. um we're all really good friends now like we're all very very close friends and we completely hit it off on that first day oh wow um And so it made it very easy because again, um, it can be really intimidating when you're stepping on a set with, with, um, actors who are potentially like more established than you. Um, it's, it's a natural to kind of feel like you're, you know, kind of making yourself a little bit small and that you can't really take up space. And you know what I'm saying? Um, but nobody on this show, rainbow included, um, carried themselves with like, you know, any kind of attitude that would make you feel that way. And so working with Rainbow and us all laughing and and cheering and learning how to do the dance moves and stuff too and messing up and, you know, like it was, it was very easy. It was really easy. It was very fun. Yeah. She's wonderful. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And what scene did you have the most fun filming and also like, what scene did you like as a fan watching the show? Oh. <laughs> um, I think <laughs> I think the one that was probably the most fun were the um, was the entire homecoming dance. Oh yeah. So in terms yeah. of shooting it, it was probably the most fun. Okay. Um, and I, maybe people would totally disagree with me on that, but for me and the girls because I was for that day I was with um Allie and Kat and Katerina we're like the the three cheerleaders beside Rainbow while she's Mm -hmm. doing more objectively important things obviously um so in the dance it was just kind of us three milling about and doing things and you could barely see us in that part but we were there and those were that was a night shoot and so we were there and that was probably at like four in the morning. Oh. Um, so we were all completely unhinged um, <laughs> in heels. Uh, and I don't know, if, I don't know if you ever heard the term crack hour, but it was crack hour. hundred percent. We were, we were lost to the world. And I have a lot of videos from that night. Because we were just, yeah, we were just gone. So it's like, it's, we're exhausted or like functioning on like the gummy bears from Crafty and, and coffee. Meanwhile, Milo, Milo, man, he's dancing around, <laughs> just stepping out. <laughs> We're like barely holding on. <laughs> so yeah, that was the most fun to shoot. Um, in terms of like the most fun to watch, I mean, that was fun to watch. Well, yeah, yes, I'm sure it was. Going on in the background was like absolute chaos. Um, <laughs> but it was probably the homecoming uh, game. That was. Oh yeah. That was cool because that yeah. was that was a cold night. Um, but that also kind of added at least for for me to the excitement too. And obviously, I'm Canadian. Um, grew up here in like the pacific northwest and everything and we don't really a have that much football um okay. but b like we don't do the homecoming thing yeah. right and yeah. and our school dances are not what you see on school spirits <laughs> let me tell you um sorry to fleetwood park I apologize. <laughs> um, but our so i never got to kind of experience a dance and a game on that grand of a scale oh. and so when we got to do it on the show um it was just like for me it was like larger than life um and crazy to imagine that that could be someone's school experience because some in some schools in the states it is um 
so that was that was really neat so even the game i mean even though it was cold even though we were tired because that was another night shoot right yeah um i i had so much fun um so yeah well well, the the only sport you're probably used to is is hot is hockey right yeah hockey we even we even have some like rugby and stuff here okay some basketball i'm just trying to think of all the ones that were in high school obviously hockey's the main well yeah um i suck at all of them (laughs) every single one (laughs) i'm serious every single sport every single one (laughs) yeah mm. (laughs) yeah trust me (laughs) just trust me i'm gonna leave it on that but yeah (laughs) (laughs) um, well actually I, i mean my my favorite scene of the, sh- of the show was the the mind blowing scene at the end with without giving any spoilers away with that involves right list. right like that was that completely threw me off like I had I knew that 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 teacher there was something up with him like right. i knew he wasn't on the level like when i when i first saw him interact with everyone i said there's something yeah. up with him he's not he's not right there's something wrong with him yeah it's so <laughs> funny you say that because obviously i'm like chronically on on twitter like watching like you know i watch so much you know tv you know succession like all of those kind of shows so yeah. after every episode i watch like i'm like looking on twitter to see what people think about stuff and what people are saying and i was doing the same with school spirits and i was actually surprised by the amount of people who were saying that exact same thing um uh-huh. yeah i and then he, i really was realized that i was watching <laughs> exactly <laughs> like he was odd there there was something yeah like something was off and and Peyton List didn't want to cross over and he kept forcing everyone to cross over. And then he yeah. he lied with saying the other girl crossed over when she didn't. And yeah, it was just suspicious vibes. Oh my like God. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I and I know, and it was really it was it was kind of crappy because I didn't get any scenes with him because obviously I'm alive. <laughs> and so it was it was cool to like see him in the show because I was like, I literally have no idea who you are. <laughs> and, then, and then you know I'm seeing behind the scenes stuff and I'm seeing him on the show and I'm like, damn, I really wish that I did because he's he's fantastic in that role. Mm-hmm. He's, oh, he's he perfect for it. Like absolutely perfect. And he and you know he plays the suspicious vibes without pushing too much. Um so that you are caught off guard. You just exactly. you expect something but you just don't know how it's going to pan oh, out. I know. And, and I think he did a really good job. With he, that. he really That's did. Great. And of course Peyton too like she she oh, was God. amazing and uh, she's wonderful yeah she's amazing I can't even say enough good things about her um not even just like her acting just her as a yeah. person she's just wonderful wonderful I, person I was kind of hoping that she would do some of her martial arts moves on him <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great that would be so amazing just whip those out if you have yeah. those skills, you should, in my personal opinion. <laughs> right, right, but, exactly. Especially since he was like evil, she, yeah. she gets her her training from from uh, Martin Mar- Martin Cove <laughs> priests and <laughs> exactly it's the crossover that everybody asked for but didn't didn't pan out sadly. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure she was grateful not to be having to do That's like true. insane amounts of cardio and hit <laughs> school spirits <laughs> and it sounds like like a lot of fun stuff happened on the set so was there any funny or cool s- stories that happened on set funny and cool stories i mean there's so many like it was God, I can't even imagine with the main cast. I mean, I'm sure they had like so many great moments because they saw each other all the time and they lived in close proximity to each other, right? Um, But there were so many excellent moments. And I guess the one that really stands out to me is that one where we're at the dance. Yes. You know, we're all exhausted and laughing and, you know, struggling to stay up (laughs) and doing the same dance moves every (laughs) day. 
you're you're yeah. probably like i'm not really laughing but this is the only thing that's keeping my eyes open <laughs> yeah truly so whenever i think about the show experience as a whole episode by episode that one was that one was just a blast oh, okay. um, yeah that one was just so fun um and you have to you have to do that you have to make the most out of those uh, the night shoots and stuff because the, of course they're exhausting and well, yeah yeah and um and it's one of those things too where if you have copious amounts of lines and scenes that is difficult already because you're you're trying to remember all those things and stay in character despite Mm -hmm. how exhausted you are um and then there's us who are just like (laughs) just dancing around but we're also we don't have that to worry about when we were there that day and so um that in itself almost made us more tired <laughs> um, because we had the time to go insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did. And we did. So, yeah, that was probably my favorite. And also um, just all the in-between time where we, you know, were in someone's trailer talking about what we think the ending is. Mm, um, yes, exactly. Because we, because we didn't know. Um we were given the scripts um, one at a time per episode or per block. And so we didn't know how it was going to end. So that was very fun. Um, Just hypothesizing and trying to figure out what the ending was going to be. Uh, And yeah, I think there were some who got kind of close, but nobody. No one would have expected that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that was, that was very fun. Yeah. That was a cool experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when I was watching the show, like every episode I thought was someone different. I was like, oh, it's yeah. the guy, the guy who cheated on her. No, yeah. it's the girl he cheated on her with. No, right. it's her own mother. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember those episodes too. I was just like, oh, don't blame the mom. Don't blame her. Like, like every every couple episodes my opinion was changing on who's the one that yeah. killed her <laughs> which is wonderful and like i'm happy to hear that that was received effectively um <laughs> as an audience member who's not biased <laughs> to the story i'm really really glad that was the case because that's what we were all hoping for was for it to be like juicy you know oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i it was fun too because you know my personal circle obviously my friends my family yeah. They of course didn't know how it was going to end either. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, every every couple of days I would be like hearing from different people. It's like, oh, it's this person. It's this person. <laughs> and then by the end, they're all like, whoa. What? Whoa. Like really. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part was was being on Twitter because by that point, <laughs> I did know how it was gonna end. Yeah. And so I'm seeing people tweeting. And one really got me. And I think I even like took a screenshot of it just because it makes me laugh. But it's like this show is so predictable. Like, what? oh my God, this show is so predictable. This was like a couple episodes in. This show is so uh, predictable. It's clearly going to end this way. Like, oh my God, these shows nowadays. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm like reading it. And I'm like, okay, okay, good luck. <laughs> and I bet the no. ending that they picked was not what happened, right? Not at all. <laughs> not even remotely close. Like, come on, guys unbelievable you're go always to gonna to have those writers. kind of people that, like like you know you're like <laughs> oh i'm watching it but i'm not liking it but i'm still gonna watch every episode yeah <laughs> like come on <laughs> but yeah sure watch every episode honestly i, I would prefer <laughs> yeah. if you did but yeah <laughs> yeah i don't like the show but i'm gonna continue watching every single episode and I give know. my opinion after the show like Whatever. if you don't like it don't don't watch it exactly <laughs> exactly but i i did find i i enjoyed it overall like being on yeah. twitter and like seeing what people were saying because it was it was overwhelmingly positive and i was so happy to see that people were invested in it and enjoying oh, it yeah. and and um yeah and hypothesizing and sometimes being wrong and i love that i thought that was great that's the whole point and um so that was really cool to see <laughs> okay <laughs> and um what do you like doing during your your free time when you're not auditioning for tv and film um 
Oh my god. I mean, watching like we're talking about it, like watching really good TV and movies and reading. Um, I love reading and I, I'm getting way back, way, wow, clearly it's not reflecting well, but I like reading, um, <laughs> but I'm reading more now than I kind of did when I was like in high school. Cause I've always been doing it. I've always been okay. doing and stuff and I always really enjoyed it. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it was busyness or, or what the issue was, but I just kind of slowed down and just sort of stopped. Mm -hmm. um and I would read like you know like one or two books a year nothing crazy and then I kind of just started can't remember what the catalyst was but I got back into it maybe like a year or two ago and okay I'm kind of back on it and I'm always kind of reading something and and I'm happy about that um but yeah and then I and then I still work part-time too like I I sell wedding dresses as I sell yeah, I style brides at my at my other job. So I still have something else that I get to do too. Um, and something fulfilling as well. So it's, yeah, that's kind of what I fill my time doing. I'm probably forgetting something like <laughs> crucial to like my entire character. <laughs> but, <laughs> so be it. So okay. be it. <laughs> well, <laughs> if anyone wants to hire you to make their bridal dresses i guess i guess they can <laughs> they absolutely can i'm plugging that right now there you go right <laughs> <laughs> please do <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what i do on a day to day okay <laughs> and um what kind of music do you like like who's on your playlist everything is on my playlist this is such a hard question for me because you know I have so many outside influences um Mm -hmm. you know I grew like my dad is a musician so I grew up with all all kinds of music from him because he (laughs) he was like um in like punk bands in the in the 80s and um, now he plays like because he plays bass right and then now he plays like in blues bands and like like rock bands and stuff to this day and so there was obviously that but we also grew up around like Motown and disco music and stuff so that is still something that I very much listen to but then I guess in terms of like modern artists and stuff like I love Lady Gaga yeah yeah yeah. love like I I just think she's like oh my god I've always loved her um god there's just so many uh Phoebe Bridgers Phoebe Bridgers her song so I had seen her in concert a couple days um, after our very very first rehearsal so before we even got on set I went to see Phoebe Bridgers in in October and um and then her song was at the end of the very first episode and I didn't know that going in so then me and my friends were watching it like together yeah, yeah. that first episode together and we all just lost our minds <laughs> because we were like oh my god so that was really cool um, yeah it was just like a weird full circle moment so yeah I also listen to her I listen to everything I love music I couldn't I couldn't go without having my uh, my headphones or or something like that I have to listen to it constantly like yeah, movie scores too it's the best yeah like I love it like yes. I movie scores are like yeah amazing okay I'm like studying and translating <laughs> and all these things but yeah <laughs> I I don't but know if you're <laughs> I don't know if you're a Taylor Swift fan but she is in my town right now in Philly and oh, she's, nice. she's playing three back-to-back sold-out sold stadium out shows. shows like stadium yeah I love her <laughs> like she's at the her. stadium where the Eagles are at <laughs> and she's selling out the stadium three yeah. straight times she's incredible I love her I've always loved love Taylor Swift but I think what's so cool about artists like her and like and Beyonce and Lady Gaga and so many others like their production like their concerts are not just concerts they're full-on productions oh yeah definitely sets and costumes and dancing and everything and it's just and it's just fantastic it's you know I'll never forget those concerts that I've been to they're just yeah amazing amazing yeah I was I was laughing because she's here Friday night Saturday night sun 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 Sunday night too but on Thursday night 
there was a huge line because they had a merchandise truck oh my God. outside the, the stadium and people waited in line on Thursday night to get the merchandise to go to the show on Friday. I 100% believe that. <laughs> Swifties are on another level. Truly, they're on another I was, level. I was watching this on, on the news. I was like, the concert isn't till Friday, but they're here Thursday to buy merchandise? Oh, yeah. The dedication. <laughs> the dedication is very real. Yeah. It I know. And is. so I live in Vancouver, and Taylor Swift is not coming to Vancouver. Oh. So I'm very upset about that. So we're hoping that she'll have some sort of, you know, Canadian stop later on but okay hoping and praying fingers crossed well i would say you could come to philly and see her but the shows are sold are, are completely I know. sold sold out so completely sold out. <laughs> i know i'm so incredibly jealous there's only one person i know who's going um and she's one of my brides oh her. okay i sold her her wedding dress and and she's going and every single time that she comes to the store every one of my coworkers and i are all like lucky you <laughs> good for you we're so happy for you but we're also so jealous yeah 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 oh so jealous <laughs> <laughs> and, um, what, what was the last song that was stuck in your head like one of those songs that you can't get out you just sing it all the time um that's such a good question, but I genuinely, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. There have been a few. There's actually a couple K-pop songs. Oh, really? That have been playing in my mind a okay. couple times. And it's different ones. It's different ones every day. They just like come and go. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. And I, and I think it's those, okay. honestly. Like Blackpink and, and like all those songs that just like come in and out of my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, probably those actually. Nice. Most. Yeah. I'm always singing poorly to some song that's in my head. <laughs> like every single day. <laughs> like, yeah. Those are probably the most recent, I think. Okay. Like I, I just re re watched the last season of Stranger Things, so running up the hill is stuck in my head again. <laughs> That's I haven't even caught up to Stranger Things, okay. and I'm talking like seasons ago. So I oh. really need to do that. And I love Stranger Things season one, and for whatever reason, I just haven't caught up. So I really need to do that. I really need to do that. That's a good reminder for me. Okay, um, okay, because, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I'll do it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see with Chucky in the background, I'm a big horror guy, so I always ask my, my guests this is, Are there any horror films that you like to watch? I love horror movies, okay. I love them. I love horror movies, I love horror books, I love horror games, I love them all. Uh, um, uh, no. I'm it's funny though because I I think that obviously you know this. There's so many like subgenres of, yes. of horror movies. Yes. Um, and I think my favorites are a little bit more of like the psychological. Oh, okay. So, yeah. You know, um, I'm really happy with Ari Aster's movies, like yes, Hereditary definitely. and Midsommar. I absolutely love them. Um, I'm excited to see his new movie with Joaquin Phoenix. I think that'll be really cool. That um, looks cool. Yeah, so I I love those, but like Rosemary's Baby. Oh my, my god, favorite, yeah, classic. One of my favorite ones, and of course, like The Shining, and like all of those Jack are great. Nicholson. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of some other ones, even like weird ones. This is probably going to be put on a list, but like I really love like Climax and stuff too. I don't know if you've ever watched it, but it's like Climax. Really Wait a minute, I, no, I don't think I ever saw that one. Okay, well, see now if you can watch it, then you're probably going to think like less of me. <laughs> no, I'm always looking for new for new horror okay. films to watch. Yeah, it was really that's a wild movie. Okay, um, okay. I was just thinking of an oh yeah, and like I, I really really 
am into um, the original paranormal activity. Yeah. The more yeah. the more I think about it years later, the more I respect that movie. Um, just because it's like the first one kind of since Blair Witch mm -hmm. to do the mm -hmm. um, to do the you know. I can't think of the terminology right now, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the more that I think about it, like, it, it had such, like, an impact on that time. Um, it was just such a, yeah, it was kind of an iconic movie for me and my friends at that moment. And then all, like, the Wreck movies, too. Yes, oh, my God, I love those movies, yeah. yeah so good oh and like if you wanted to do more like fantasy horror like pan's labyrinth is one of my favorite yes. movies of all time yes yes of all time of all time one of my one of my top ones mine so, yeah, is, is the poster the crow that's my favorite movie of all time really oh yes. no, I, see, I haven't seen it i know no no you're just i'm so sorry about that but I'll... <laughs> hey not everyone sees every movie <laughs> <laughs> true true people are probably hearing like you know climaxes that they're like what the hell is she talking about Probably for good reason, but yeah. <laughs> so. Did you ever see the kill the killer clowns from outer space? No, I've never seen it. It's but so funny. It's it's more more comedy <laughs> hard than actual than actual yeah. horror. And I do love that too, right? Like I love campy, campy yeah, kind of. That's like exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. Like it's that's very so very campy. Well. Yeah, because you have to go into it like knowing that. Mm -hmm. that, that's what it is and that's what they make it that's who they make it for and and i love that and uh yeah I, when as soon as you said like killer clowns i was thinking of like the terrifier movies oh my I, god they're so good i can't even oh my god so i can't i don't even know if i could truly watch them because uh we recently had like a movie night at our place um my boyfriend's also into all this stuff and oh, he yeah, and his hey, guy okay. friends were getting together watching terrifier too yeah and i had just I was popping in and out and each time yeah. that I popped in it was like absolutely traumatizing it, the, no the, the movies are gory as hell like like yeah. it, it's definitely not for everybody totally and I, yeah. and I completely get it but I can appreciate the following that it has and I get it like I totally get it um but yeah I can handle like the the psychological mm -hmm. midsummer stuff but yeah it's but not terrifier no well, i actually interviewed the actor that plays art the clown really yeah but no and he's like the most sweetest nicest person like you could ever be in your life naturally and, like naturally. the total opposite of of the clown like like I, well, he's so. like one of the <laughs> sweetest people yeah he's one of the sweetest people like it, it it's oh. funny it is it's funny go figure i find that that always happens um because there's like uh the both of the two actors i'm forgetting them. i know doug jones is one of them but mm -hmm. javier botet um the other two actors who do all the creature work and stuff yeah. like that yeah whenever you you see interviews and stuff with them they're just like you know nice friendly. yeah exactly exactly um which is super cool yeah i i love that i love the dichotomy of the incredibly sweet and wholesome person <laughs> someone like absolutely worth me <laughs> that's really cool and then I, I i don't know if you ever go to like horror 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 cons but um mm. david howard thornton the one who plays art the clown like he was that at a horror con and oh, i mean he he didn't have the clown stuff on but like but I went up to him to meet him and you could take photos of him yeah. and, and, and he puts that little, that little black hat on his head, the, you know, that little hat that art wears. Yeah. Yeah. Like I he, know exactly when, when, when you take a photo with him, he puts the hat on and then he, That's so cute. and then he picks up the horn that, that horn he blows so yeah. he the hat on and he's holding up the horn. Like he takes the picture that's so cute i actually really <laughs> love hearing that see like you really have to like lean in with roles like that and that's what i find so fun like i i've always wished that you know or that's an aspiration for me that i eventually get a job where i get to go to like a convention or something because cons are so much fun oh my god and, i, I and love to, doing them and to be able to go to something like that like i'm like i i i dabble i'm not like a total person but like a dabble in like anime yeah. and stuff like that oh yeah, so those yeah, are the yeah. Only, yeah so those are the only conventions that i've i've ever been to um, okay yeah but i've 
like fan expo I've always wanted to go to just as like somebody to you know like a typical person to just go yeah um uh, but yeah and I've never been to comic-con like I've never been to any of those things so okay I, I think that they'd be super fun like if you're an actor and you get to go up there and do a panel at an event like that like exactly so exactly. much fun it's yeah. so fun and just nerd out with a bunch of people <laughs> yes. it amazing it'd be super fun <laughs> Uh, my my like favorite horror anime is actually death note like i love that uh, yeah totally it's classic when i think of death note i think of being in like me being in like eighth grade <laughs> and, and watching death note it was a cultural movement it yeah, was, wasn't it though yeah. yeah it truly was it was a cultural movement i even had <laughs> so embarrassing I actually had a death note that I did like really? my, my, um, was it my humanities class? It's like one of those classes in high school and I'm forgetting which one it was, but I had a death note notebook that I would like take down <laughs> my notes in. My older brother, who's also into anime, so I don't know what he was talking about, completely ripped into me for that. No, are you <laughs> serious? So Why? <laughs> Now that I look back on it, I'm like, yeah, he had every right to do that. Absolutely. That was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, at the time I was very insulted. <laughs> but yeah, Death Note was that that was an experience. Yeah. Um, do you watch any to this day now? Oh, yeah, yeah. You watch like Attack on Titan? I heard yes. Yeah. I, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Attack on Titan. Just- I, I like to watch like the horror um, of course I'm a big horror guy so I yeah. like to watch like the horror ones right I there was one that I watched years ago and I always 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 forget the name of it um, but it was like set in high school that doesn't narrow it down set in high school and like kids are like this sounds horrible but like kids are like dying left and right but I can't remember what it is I can't remember oh what it is. wow yeah no, um there was some oh god this sounds so vague um, <laughs> but there was one that I did watch and, and it was a horror one and I did really enjoy it I oh it was nice really okay um yeah I I want to watch more of the horror anime um because I just that's like an avenue that I haven't explored mm-hmm. as much as like movies and yeah yeah exactly the same. Shows. yeah yeah um my my boyfriend also works in film and tv and he worked on oh, yellow nice. jackets yeah, oh, okay. and, yeah, 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 and that is another show that I just absolutely loved, and um, so he started working that on for season two, but I watched it season. I watched season one pretty much before anybody else was watching. I thought I was really? like alone on an island watching that <laughs> show because none of my my best friends watched it, um, and I just loved it. Like really cool, <laughs> really really cool. I'm glad that horror is kind of making its way into like yeah, exactly. network tv and stuff i think that that's really really cool um, i know I'm, I'm so happy about that like seeing all these like new horror films coming out horror tv yeah. shows and you were you were in a horror tv show too yeah. horror television shows <laughs> i made it i made yeah. it as the cheerleader in a horror show <laughs> yeah charmed and skull spirits you yeah you, you got to hang with witches and ghosts <laughs> that's so true that is so true i need to give myself more credit for right. contributing exactly. for yeah. contributing my one-liners to the horror right. show myself. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to work on more like supernatural storylines. That, awesome. that would be so great. I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like fantasy too. I, I always joke to my friends too that I would like love to have a job one day where I get to like wield a sword and like take those like sword training yeah, classes yes, and yes. stuff like that. So fun. I think that's like one of the best parts about this industry is that like you can pop into all of these other skills um, exactly. and classes and stuff. And I think that's just like, uh, so, so cool. So cool. Oh my yeah. God. Yes. It, 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 I, like that's just so much fun. Like just going out there and doing, doing different roles and playing different yeah. kind of people. And oh, yeah, it's, it's truly the best. It's like one of the only jobs I can think of if, 
like it could just be the one where you get to do that um mm-hmm. and that is your job and you you get to play around with different skill sets and things that the average person might not get to do um I mean there are sword fighting classes obviously but like you don't <laughs> yeah. always you know you don't always get to like apply that yeah you know and in a cool way like yeah you do yeah an exactly. yeah and I and I really I really think that that's awesome I think it's so cool there's so much freedom within the industry too and and if you have the privilege to one day have more control over your niche of work like you can really branch off into things that you are personally quite passionate about um so yeah I I think it's really it's a neat industry to work for for sure oh definitely definitely (laughs) (laughs) and is there anything coming up next for you that you want to plug like and anything honestly not I mean like I I will keep you posted but right now the industry is kind of on a little bit of pause a little bit of a pause right now we have the writers guild oh oh, yeah that's right that's right yeah Yeah, so it's a very unusual circumstance that we're dealing with right now so stay tuned we we shall see we shall see what it what comes up um but i think it's going to be just a little bit more time um until things start really picking Mm. up again but i i stand with the writers guild um if it wasn't for good writers oh um, yeah for sure i would be nowhere so i i really want that for them and and uh yeah and so take all the time you need i guess yeah yeah exactly I, you know what's the point in in acting if you if you don't have um storylines that you right you can connect with and that viewers can connect with you know so yeah i i will keep you posted <laughs> okay definitely do <laughs> Yeah. And where can fans follow you at? My Instagram. Please do follow me on Instagram. Unfortunately, as much as I say I'm on Twitter, there's really nothing interesting on there. I mean, you can if you want to, but you're just going to see a bunch of like succession memes and stuff. So unless you want that, which case, by all means, follow me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just Instagram at Vanessa Prasad, nice and easy. Please do. And then if I, if I, if anything comes down the line, that will be the first kind of social media branch that I, that I plug that stuff on. So okay. that would be wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Sweet. Well, yeah. I want to thank you so much for coming on the show and doing this. It was really fun chatting with you, yeah. meeting you, chatting hard, likewise. And ghosts and everything. Totally. <laughs> likewise. Absolutely. No, it was a blast. Very easy to talk about all these things. because. Oh, my know. God. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ideal topic of conversation for me. So it's perfect. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> no, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me and asking me to. I think that's wonderful. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that you really liked the show too. I know that oh, the writers that, yes. would be thrilled to know that you that you loved it. So. I, I did love it and I'm hoping for season two. Fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. I mean, the way it ended, it it, it has to have a season two or I'm going to be pissed. You know what, though? (laughs) I saw a lot of people say the same thing. I saw like one person tweet in like a seance circle that that they want to get season two, which is probably like the most effective way you could get it, all things considered. Yeah, Yeah, that would be. So (laughs) fingers crossed. Yeah, the fingers crossed. I mean, the people are already doing the satanic star and rituals so uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly so let's let's see how let's see let's see what works right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah no thank you i we we all collectively appreciate the support so much um it was so so much fun and uh yeah glad that you enjoyed it glad that other people enjoyed watching it on based on what i can see on twitter and social media and stuff so yeah really really cool awesome well again thank thank you so much and definitely have a great weekend thank you you too have a good one (laughs) thank you Bye. bye